हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल क्लाउड एंड ए आई एनालिटिक्स होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग गुड आई एम विकनेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ लोडिंग सी एस वी फाइल इन टू क्लाउड बिग क्वेरी यूजिंग कमन लाइन टूल कॉल बी क्यू सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू डू इट फ्रॉम कंसोल एंड हाउ टू डू इट फ्रॉम क्लाइंट लाइब्रेरीज बट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट थ्रू कमन लाइन टूल दैट इज बी क्यू and one important point which i wanted to stress is like how to load data from cloud storage to bigquery table using bq we will be seeing that also as part of this video and this is what the core of this video is and without any further delay let's get started bigquery is the data warehouse solution offered by google cloud platform and it is basically serverless service so you can work with 100 records till millions of records both the compute storage everything will be taken care by google cloud itself we don't need to worry about those things so this is my console and this is the project which i'll be using for this particular demo and first i have explained you what is cloud shell so what is cloud shell and some basic commands which i have already explained in my previous videos and the same thing i have given here as well you can just do uh, and so on this like g cloud auth list is to list all the credentials account inside your google cloud platform g cloud config list is to display all the properties of the current configuration and g cloud init is to initialize authorize and configure the g cloud command line tool followed by g cloud version g cloud config set project so all this this are the some basic commands which everyone must be aware of working with google cloud platform so first thing is i log into my cloud shell so from here you can activate your cloud shell and you can directly open the editor so i'll be opening the editor yes our cloud editor is ready from here click on this terminal new terminal and you can use this project and then you can use this command g cloud config set project and project id you can copy it from here so lucky like leaf this is my project id and i'll paste it here so now we are inside this project like key leaf 363960 this is the project we are inside it so now i am inside this bq command line tool so bq command line tool it is specifically developed for working with cloud bigquery the same way when you are working with cloud storage we have gs util when you are working with bigtable we have cbt when you are working with kubernetes we got kube ctl so bq is for cloud bigquery so you can use this bq version and understand what is the version it is currently active in this particular cloud shell so this is the version 2.0.98 this is the current version and uh, this version will be keep on upgrading as google cloud develops further so the next thing is you can use this bq help command to understand what the what the command you wanted to do so you can just execute bq help and you can see all the command all the commands which this bq supports so right from listing right from head help info init insert load so these are the commands which you will be able to do on top of this bigquery from command line tool if you don't know what is bq uh, mk means like you can use this bq help mk and you can execute it so this will give you what is this mk means so i'll just go here here you can see mk like it can create a data set table view or transfer configuration with this name so you can see all this like bq mk new data set bq mk new data set dot new table so you can make with the help of this mk command you can make data set table view or transfer configuration the same. so it is not mandatory you should remember all these things if you don't know how to get it you can use this bq help command to get all the parameters all the commands whatever you wanted you can do on top of this so this is something which comes very handy when you are working in the real time project so the next one is we are going to create a data set so for creating the data set we are again using this command mk so bq location is us mk hyphen d the default table expression is 3600 seconds and if you don't know what is this you can obviously you can use this command B, bq help and mk so you can see what are the additional parameters or optional parameters you can see it here so assign type auto scale budget and those things whatever we are seeing here right? like default table location so here you can see the data location data source default kms key so all these things are additional parameters you can just read it out and you will be able to understand it very easily so now i am going to copy this command and before that i'll open my bigquery and make sure that 
I am not having this name, data set name, demo data set underscore BQCLA. So I just wanted to confirm it. So I don't have this. So I'm going to this shell and I'm executing it. So now you can see we got an error. So what is this error? BigQuery error in MQ operation cannot determine data set described by. So if you just take a look at this command, in this command, it doesn't know what is the next line is. So what I have to do is either I should give something like this. So BQ, MK, iPhone, D, something like this. I should have passed something like this at the end of the sentence. By this, our interpreter know that this is not the end and this will continue till this command. So make sure you don't do this mistake. Execute this command now. So this will fetch me the result. So it has created the data set like lucky leaf 396003 and this is my data set name. We can cross check the same inside this. You can just refresh the content and you will be able to see the bucket created. Demo data set underscore BQCLA. So data set ID created default table expression all the details you will be able to find it here so this are some default values which we didn't pass so uh, the interpreter took the default values itself and here you can see one it got created so the time is also 10 32 so yeah now we are good on this so it doesn't have any table we have just created a data set from this command so or else you can just use this bq mk and the respective data set name both are same so now we will use this bq ls command so what this bqls command will do is it will list whatever which is present inside our bigquery project so the next is bq list project id and the respective data set id so if you list all these things whatever the table which is present inside this sample as a data set it will list all it so what i'm going to do is bq ls and the project id so what is my project id is i can take it from here lucky under iphone leaf iphone 396003 so it will list all the table which is present inside this data set so here you can see all the different this is partition table this is a normal big table so we'll see what this fetches so i'll just hit enter and you will be able to see the result so annual enterprise annual survey level what is the table time partitioning all the details you will be able to find it here the thing is we will create a table so how to create a table? So the same way, BQ, MK, iPhone T, the table expiration, the description, the label, and my data set and respective string name. So this is how you will be able to create an empty table. So I'll just show you, I'll just execute it and I'll just, so this is where I'll be creating my table, BQ, MK, iPhone T, expiration, description, label, and the demo data set and respective my table name. If I hit enter, you will be able to see the table has been created. The same way you can just go here, refresh your page and just you can see demo data set. And this is my empty table. This is just an empty table which has three columns, quarter, sales and year. So this is how you will be able to create the table from, create the table and data set from BQ command line tool. And if you want to examine the table, you can just use something like this. I'll just copy this and I'll show you how to examine the table. So basically whatever which is present inside this table, you will be able to see only the, again, there is some error with the project name. So I'll just copy this. Yes. Now you will be able to see what is this bytes? What is the total rows, total bytes? All the details you will be able to see it here. So our record, the table which we created, it doesn't have any details, any records. It's just empty tables. You can confirm the same from here. And now, We'll be seeing how to load table from your local machine. So BQ load. So this is the command which you will be able to use. So this is the command which we'll use for loading the data from our local cloud shell to cloud BigQuery. So BQ load source format skip leading rows. And this is my data set. And this is my table name. And this is the local path table name. And this are the respective schema. So before doing that, what I'm going to do is I have already created one one folder. So I'll make sure I'm inside this. And this is the table which we'll be using customer transactions.csv. Not table CSV file. So you can see customer transaction and this is ID zip code timestamp. The same detail you can find ID zip timestamp. Make sure timestamp amount and feedback skew. So I'll just copy this command. I'll 
in GUDF. So if I list, I can see this customer transaction on .csv and I'll hit enter now. Yeah, you can see the upload is complete and it is in the running state and now it is done. So we can just cross check the result here by going into this refresh contents and you can see this customer transactions like ID, zip, timestamp, amount, FDBK and SKU. That is feedback, whatever the schema name which we have given. It's like FDBK, like feedback and details. So you can see all the details, number of rows, preview. You can see all the details. So this is how you will be able to load data from from your cloud shell to cloud BigQuery. Now assume a scenario that this CSV file is not present inside cloud shell. This is present inside one of the bucket. So we will use this demo data set big lake bucket. So this is inside this bucket. So how you will load from cloud storage to BigQuery through BQ command line tool. So that is how we are going to implement it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm inside this. I'll just copy the path. So as I mentioned earlier, to interact with cloud storage, we have a separate command line tool called gsutil. So gsutil cp means copy and the path of that file and gs slash slash and I'll just copy this bucket name. So I'll just hit enter and uh, you, after executing it, you will be able to see the result. Copying file operation is completed. So now I can just go here, refresh my bucket detail here and you will be able to see the transactions.csv 185 bytes text csv when it got here october 24 10 41 so here you can see october 24 10 41 and rest all the other details so now i am going to load the file from cloud storage to bigquery through this bq command line tool but it is not straightforward we have to do i'll just close this this is not required so from this is not going to be a straightforward first we have to create a definition then we have to make use of this definition and load that data from cloud storage to cloud BigQuery using this command line tool. So that is what I'm going to explain you now. BQ MK def. So what this BQ MK def means is a command to create a table definition in JSON format for data stored in cloud storage or Google Drive. So in our case, it is in Google cloud storage and we are going to create a table definition in JSON format. So here you can see BQ MK def source format is csv csv file and this is my bucket name so i have to replace this with here so what i have to do is i have to go inside this customer transaction i'll just need to copy this gsutil uri so i'll just replace it here so now i'm going to copy this my table def and you can place it as json file also even that will also work but i'm just going do it by default way so I'm just placing it here. So BQ MKDEF source format CSV and this is the respective CSV file and this is the JSON format which we are going to create. After hitting enter, you will be able to see like that is done. The next step is we are going to BQ MK table and it is going to be an external definition table. So this is the external definition table. And if you want, you can view this, I guess. We'll give it a try. Here you can see this is the JSON definition for this external table. So CSV options allow jagged rows, allow output encoding, field delimiter, preservance, control character. You can find all the detail and this is what the external location for this particular CSV file. So what now we are going to create the table BQ MK. This is the table and external table definition which we created in the previous step. My table def and this is the data set and this is my table name and the same schema i'll just copy it and, and paste it here now after executing we have to wait for a couple of seconds yes the table is created now we can confirm the same i'll just go here just click on this refresh content and you will be able to see this customer transactions field id details and all the steps whatever we are able to see the same thing here you can see the external data configuration since this is an external table and this is an internal table customer underscore transaction which we copied from the local it is an internal table native table and this customer transaction from storage this is an external table here you can see you can find all the external data configuration so that is why we have we created that schema definition and then created the table from that schema definition so this is how you will be able to create external table inside cloud BigQuery from command line tool. 
but when the same when you do it from console it will be pretty straightforward you don't need to do anything much and then this is what the additional parameters like source format skip leading rows all the details you will be able you can just go through it and the next part is verify that the table loaded by showing the table property i'll just paste it here bq and now you will be able to see the result so when it got total figure what are the schemas total rows total byte all the details you will be able to find it here the same thing you will be finding it from the external storage that will not change anything external table internal native table that will not change anything for this particular command the same result you will be able to find it here type external total uris one expression all those things you can see right like schema all those details here so here you can see total rows but you can't see it here because the type is external total uris all those details so the next thing is you will see the same information but it will be in a json format so now i'll execute it and you will be able to see the final so here you can see it will be in the proper json format all the details it will be in the proper json format and the next one is like information about the table we have completed till now then how to query the data so if you wanted you want so if you want to query the first maximum 10 records and the start row from 5 but we don't have that much records in our like we'll start records and we'll go with one maximum rows is one and start row from one selected fields is id zip and from that data set and the table name bq head i'll just clear the screen and i'll paste it here and we'll be able to see the big query so you can't use this head command to load the external table so for that we have to go with the native table so this is again a learning for me so using this bq head command you can't query the external table you can query only the native tables so on the next thing is we are going to execute the result like we are going to see the result in the command line tool it worked bq query like no legacy sql and the respective query select star from the respective data set and you will be able to see it here but if you do it for external table it will fail the next query is copy data from one table to another table so this i am going to implement on top of inter native table or internal table bq copy this is my source table data set followed by table name and this is my same data set but the different call table name i'll just hit enter and you will be able to see the result so the job started and it is done now you can just go here refresh the contents and you will be able to see one more table like customer transaction from storage copy and so finally we are going to see how to delete the table and how to delete the data set from bigquery for that we will be using this command bq rm rm is remove so bq rm followed by the data set name and the table name customer transactions so i'll just go here paste it here and hit enter remove table yes or no so it asked me yes or no and when i gave yes it uh, it will remove this table customer transactions we'll cross check that now yeah customer transactions done so when we are executing this command we like we it asked for yes or no so if if you want to skip that place you can use this command bq rm hyphen f hyphen t that will skip you asking to ask for conf confirmations yes or no that will skip you there the next finally how to remove the data set the same way bq rm hyphen r so i'll just do it in it will ask for s or no and if i again when i give yes it will remove the data set yeah the data set is removed so this is how you will be able to create external tables native table from bq command line tool so the main objective, the core of this video is to how to create native table and external table using command line tool that is BQ. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. And if you have any questions, please post in the comment section. I will see you in the next video with more interesting content from Google Cloud and other cloud platforms. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.